Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create the small multiples or alternatively what is called is the trellis chart option. So trellis chart is useful in scenarios like this where on the one chart, you don't want to show all the axis. So for example, if I go here in this chart, so what do you have is profit by month, right? So you have month, you have profit. And uh, let's say I want to add the region information, right? So what do you have is this region information. Let's say your user is coming back and saying, oh, this is becoming too much cluttered or not very, very useful. However, having the four different charts with the same axis, will make a lot of different sense. One for central, one for east, one for south, and one for west. So instead of using the filters option, which I will show you why there is a problem in using the filters, instead of filter options, we can actually take a use of the small multiples and create this. So I will show you the problem with filters and why small multiples are so fixing it or solving it. So this is what I will going to show you in this video. And uh, before I show you uh, the all of these configuration, just a quick information that this sheet is present in the description, which you can access is very easily. And uh, this will help you searching any video. Like you can see previously, I have uploaded 118 videos. You can search it very, very easily and jump to a video directly using the link, which is given over here, right? So that's, or you can alternatively keep it as a bookmark in your Power BI within your browser so that it is handy and whenever you need it, it's available instead of bookmarking a link, let's say. All right, so with that, let's move on to a Power BI. So over here, we are here in Power BI and within Power BI, first thing, let me show you why filter is not a great option. So what I'll do is first thing first, remove the legend and we have this original chart which i showed you so i'll go into the filters right and this is let's say i create this filter and i put one field over here which is region to this and one chart one let's say what we do is create for central right now if i copy and paste this control c control v is what i did right I can change this from central, let's say to east, right? Now, one more thing I can do is I can create another chart, go down there. So we have central, east, and I will just erase that and give it south, right? Also, finally, this, this is what you would do if you are using the filter and let me show you what exactly the problem with this all right now the problem over here is this for example this bar if you see this is the central um this is filter based on the central if i click it over here on this chart you will see that this is the central this is enabled for central and the value for this is is the 12748 right let's come here this is a chart for east. So the bar over here and over here is somehow similar. However, the value over here is 18,000. So 12,000 and 18,000. Why? Because all of these charts are creating their own access. For example, in this case, it is 20K, but here the highest uh, or the outer limit or the upper limit is 15K. Currently over here, the limit is somewhere around seven or 8K. If you would see what is the value 6988 so 7k but here the upper limit is 15k so you may your user may get confused as to if they are visually comparing the values it will not look right and that's why filtering is not a good option in scenario like this so what you do is you delete all of these and remove the filtering from here remove the filter hide this pane and select the chart bring the region over here on small multiples now all those four charts is created for you so if i just expand that 
now if you see over here the values are properly aligned in terms of the y-axis so what you have is this 12,000 is here definitely smaller than this here this value is closer to what you have this value so what it does is it provides easy configuration small multiples provide easy configuration as you can see as well as it takes care of these axes in terms of the visual comparison that means it will going to provide you the right comparison which your user should interpret from the from from the report or dashboard or the visualization that you have created so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can utilize small multiples the problems if you use the filters and uh, and the best practices how you can use the small multiples to create this now if let's say in interview you are getting a question like this then you know uh, how to answer this type of a question all right with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic